Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to manage your list more precisely, how to filter down to the items that you want and how to smush them. And I'll explain what that is. And yes, that is a real gum loop term, or at least one that I'm trying deeply to make a gum loop term. Let's jump in to gum loop. So I'm back in our flow here and you might've seen something if you were really paying attention that I did in the first lesson where I copy pasted all the talks that the AI can pick from. However, in most cases, you don't want to do that. It's called hard coding, right? We have put the list here, but usually this list is dynamic. In fact, for us, it lives in Google Sheets. So what we want to do is retrieve it, right? Grab it. And then we want to filter down to the talks that are active, the ones we know are going to be part of our conference. And then we want to bring it over into this Ask Addo. That's the goal for this lesson. So as always, let me go ahead and add a note. I'm going to add the Sheets node reader. We're going to go ahead and read from our conference Google Sheet. And what I wanted to read are not the attendees, but the talks. So let's go ahead and run. That's going to get us our different talks from the Google Sheet Reader. So you'll see I have 10 talks, of which about eight are active. We want to filter out those that are in status planning or keep the ones that are active. So I'm going to go ahead and filter. So I'm going to add a filter node. Now there are three things that are needed for a filter. You have the list you want to filter by. So let's go ahead and connect our node. The list I want to filter by is the status. This means that where are the items that you want to filter, right? So in us, it's the status. We want to keep those that are active. So that's the condition. I'm going to go ahead and say contains. So we want items in the list, the status list that contains active, right? Now it's going to filter down that list, but we also need to specify what we want to output. So what I want to output is not the status, is the talk title. So we want to keep the talk titles where status is active. So if we run that, oh, you can always resume. I'm just going to run from here. So we get those two nodes running. And now if I go to our outputs, we see that we have the eight that are active. We filter down our talks dynamically from Google Sheets to the eight that have status equal active. Now, remember our goal is to remove, I'm going to go back here remove this right here, remove the fact that it, these are hard coded and bring them over from here. Now your instinct might be to do this. And now we have a list of talks and then we go into loop mode, but then we have a, a text and then we have a list and it creates an error. So remember that you have to have the same type of inputs into a text. Gumloop doesn't understand that work experiences is only there once, and then it's going to loop over output, but it only has work experience there once. So instead, we need to smush. We need to bring this list, the list of talks, into a big text blob that we can bring into our Ask AI node. So I'm going to remove here. I'm going to remove loop mode. I'm going to disconnect here, and we need a node here that takes all of these and smushes them together into a big blob of text. For that, we're going to use join list items. This is the smushing node. So we're going to pass our list, our list of talks as input, and then we have join text as output. Notice that this is not a list. It is text. And you can separate them by any character. Remember to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do by new line that we're just going to separate each line. That'll look exactly as we had it before in our ask AI node. Let's resume. Let's just run from here. Let's see what that looks like. If I go over to join list items, notice that it's just text. So we've went from a list 
I'll filter down talks down to a blob of text, which we can now pass over to our Ask AI like that. So now let's go ahead and add a new talk into our Google Sheet. Let's say they have AI for sales enablement. I'm just adding that. And let's set it as active. We have to make sure that it appears here in join list items. Let's run this again. Let's go to here and let's make sure that in join list items, we have AI for sales enablement. That means it's getting to the ask AI node. That means it's an option that the AI can pick. And that means it can appear in our email. So covered two things, filtering, how to use the filter node to get a list down to the items you need in a subsequent step, and then how to smush those items in a list down to a text. And that's particularly useful for passing as context to an AI node. And join me in the next lesson where we'll cover if else, how to dynamically make a condition in your flow and how to manage errors. I'll see you there.